Hello and welcome you all. Dear students, this topic is inverting amplifier, non-inverting amplifier and voltage follower. These are certain applications of operational amplifier. So let us first discuss inverting amplifier. As the name indicates, it is inverting amplifier means input voltage which is to be amplified must be applied to inverting terminal of op amp. We have discussed in earlier videos, there are two uh, input terminals of op amp. One is marked as negative, another is marked as positive. This terminal where I have marked negative sign is called inverting terminal. So this is inverting amplifier. That means I have to apply input voltage Vs that I need to amplify to the inverting terminal. That means to the negative terminal. Then one connection is taken from here and connected at the output side. This resistance is RF. This is called feedback connection. This feedback resistance RF is connected between V0 that is output voltage or output point towards this input side that is to the negative terminal of op amp. So this type of circuit provides negative feedback. Now let us perform the analysis from the exam point of view we may expect the question like this derive the expression of uh, gain for inverting amplifier configuration of op amp. Now let us discuss few important points. First part is, we know that, recall the things, gain is basically defined as ratio of output to the input. This is the basic definition of gain. So in this case, if I'm talking about open loop gain means output is V0 and input is the voltage between negative and positive terminal of op amp which is marked as vd this is called open loop gain therefore i can write the equation as uh, open loop gain so i will keep this notation as gain itself output output is v0 upon input input is vd what i said we need to calculate we need to write the expression of open loop gain Open loop gain means I need to consider this input voltage, not this Vs1. So for open loop gain, I will have to consider this differential input voltage Vd, which is the difference of voltage between negative and positive terminal and output voltage V0. So it is V0 upon Vd. From this, we can write Vd is equals to V0 upon gain. But recall the ideal parameters of op amp, gain of ideal op amp is infinity open loop gain of ideal op amp is infinity so i will put value like this v0 upon infinity mathematically something upon infinity matlab aise yaad rakhna hai agar denominator mein infinity aa raha hai to answer hamesha zero hota hai so mathematically this answer is zero so vd is equals to zero but vd is difference between negative and positive uh, terminals of op amp i mean rather it is voltage difference between positive and negative terminal of op amp to the positive terminal we have marked voltage v1 to the negative terminal we have marked voltage v2 so i can write vd which is v1 minus v2 which is equals to zero from this equation therefore v1 is equals to v2 now look at this diagram v1 is connected to ground V2 is not connected to ground, but since V1 is equals to V2, we can say V2 is also equals to zero. This concept is called virtual ground concept. Virtual ground concept. It means that what I said, V1 is actually grounded. V2 is not grounded, but due to this uh, analysis, V2 is also zero. This is called virtual ground concept. Now, remaining calculation, I need to calculate the formula for gain of uh, inverting amplifier. Refer this diagram to the negative terminal, register R1 is connected and uh, another end of R1 is applied to this Vs, that is Vs is the input voltage. Now, this IB1 and IB2 are bias currents of op amp. Recall the basic things. The input resistance of op amp that is Ri is very very high ideally infinity. So these bias currents IB1 
and IB2 are approximately zero. So we can neglect this bias currents. Now this Vs that is supply voltage produces a current I1. Since IB1 is zero, this entire current I1 is passing like this. It is not passing into the op amp. So because IB1 and IB2 are zero, so this entire current I1 is passing through this feedback register RF. That means we can say I1 is equals to IF. Actually, what should be done? I1 has a few portion. Here we should go. That is in terms of IB1. But IB1 is zero, so entire I1 flows through RF. That is IF. So I have written I1 is equals to IF. Now recall the basic things. If I'm talking about I1, V2 is grounded at one end of R1. I1 is the current flowing through R1. One end of R1 is connected to Vs. Another end of R1 is grounded. So I1, basic formula is current is voltage upon resistance. So I can write this equation for I1 as Vs minus V2 upon resistance R1. Both simple. Hai, I1 is the current flowing through R1. One end R1 ka Vs ko connected hai. Dusra V2 ka and we have proved V2 is equal to 0. That is V2 is ground. Current aise dekha hai. Vs to V2. That means current I1 is voltage difference. Matlab Vs minus V2 upon R1. So it is Vs minus V2 upon R1. Equals to IF. Again refer this diagram. IF is the current flowing from V2 to V0. So simply we can write it is V2 minus V0. Matlab dekho. Ye V2 voltage hai. IF is the current flowing through RF. One end of RF is connected to V2. Another end is connected to V0. So IF is V2 minus V0. Kyunki current ka direction aisa dekha hai. So V2 minus V0 upon RF. So it is V2 minus V0 upon RF. Now. Let us simplify this equation. So we know that V2 is 0. So we can simply write Vs upon R1 is equals to minus V0 upon Rf. Because we have discussed V2 is equals to 0. So I have put V2 equals to 0 in this equation. Now closed loop voltage gain is denoted by AV. And again basic things remain same. Means gain is output upon input. So in this case input is Vs and output is V0. So from this we can write uh, equation of gain as V0 upon Vs is equals to minus Rf upon R1. Both simple hai Set terms rearrange ke V0 upon Vs. Vs yaha pe transfer kiya. So V0 upon Vs is equals to Rf yaha pe transfer kiya. So it is Rf upon R1. So AV is V0 upon Vs that is minus RF upon R1 and from this I can write V0 is equal to minus RF upon R1 into Vs. So this is the equation to calculate output voltage of inverting amplifier. Ye jo iske pehle ka jo equation hai, that is the equation of closed loop voltage gain. Ye equation sirf rearrange karke I am at the VS yaha pe transfer kiya V0 upon VS yaha pe leka Phir RF yaha pe transfer kiya Or minus MB yaha pe transfer kiya So minus RF by R1 So this is the final equation of output voltage In terms of inverting amplifier Waveform ka se draw karna hai Bhoot simple hai This is the input waveform Ye amplifier hai As the name indicates It amplifies input signal But input is connected to negative terminal So it is inverting amplifier Matlab Input is positive hoga or maximum value hoga input ka. Us work at that time output will be negative max. This is the positive max. Hai. At this time output is negative max. Same way, yaha pe ye point negative max hai input ka output me positive max uh, value aega. and output is amplified. So amplitude of output is more than that of input. So this is about inverting amplifier configuration. The next type is non-inverting amplifier. This is the circuit diagram for non-inverting amplifier. Change kya hai compared to the earlier case. In this case, as the name indicates, it is non-inverting amplifier means input voltage which is to be amplified. That is Vs need to connect to positive terminal. So ye voltage Vs positive terminal ko connect kiya hai. Ye bias currents hai IB1 and IB2 which are 
currents uh, moving inside the op amp these are bias currents this voltage is v1 this voltage is v2 and negative terminal is grounded isse pehle ke case mein hum logo ne vs apply kiya tha negative terminal ko yahan pe vs apply kiya hai positive terminal ko remaining things are as it is that means this rf is the feedback resistor which is connected from output terminal to this negative input terminal so negative feedback is used now let us do the calculation let us uh, derive the formula for gain of non inverting amplifier see this is op amp input resistance of op amp is very very high so we can say ib1 is approximately equals to ib2 which is equals to zero because bias currents are zero due to very high uh, impedance now let us make use of voltage division formula recall the things voltage division ka formula kya hota hai voltage i will first write the formula voltage across any resistance any r r means resistance is equals to supply voltage supply voltage into that resistance that resistance matlab jiske across hum logon ko calculate karna hai divided by addition of resistances therefore now refer this diagram ab dekho jaise hum logon ne discuss kiya ib1 is 0 ib2 is 0 uh, so this point is v2 अब ये जो V2 है वी कैन इजीली से दिस करंट इज जीरो दैट मीन दिस वोल्टेज V2 इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस R1 वन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड ये पॉइंट V2 है इसका मतलब है ये वोल्टेज V2 इट इज द वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस R1 वन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड बिकॉज वी हैव टू मेजर वोल्टेज विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड और ये करंट जीरो है तो यहां का आगे का सर्किट कंसिडर नहीं होगा बी टू विल बी वोल्टेज अक्रॉस आर वन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू ग्राउंड सो आई कैन राइट आई कैन मेक यूज ऑफ दिस वोल्टेज डिविजन फॉर्मेला एज वी टू इज इक्वल टू अब देखो इसके लिए सप्लाई वोल्टेज कौन सा है ये वी जीरो क्योंकि ये वी जीरो दिस इज एक्टिंग एज ए फीडबैक पाथ यहां से ये फीडबैक आ रहा है एंड सम वोल्टेज विल बी ड्रॉप अक्रॉस आर वो आर एफ रिमेनिंग वोल्टेज विल बी ड्रॉप अक्रॉस आर वन जो वोल्टेज आर वन के अक्रॉस ड्रॉप हो रहा है दैट वोल्टेज इज वी टू दैट वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट सो वी टू इज इक्वल टू सप्लाई वोल्टेज मीन इन दिस केस दिस वोल्टेज वी जीरो इन टू दैट रेजिस्टेंस मतलब जिसके अक्रॉस वोल्टेज कैलकुलेट करना है सो दैट रेजिस्टेंस इज आर वन डिवाइडेड बाई एडिशन ऑफ रेजिस्टेंस सो एडिशन ऑफ दिस टू रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज आर वन प्लस आर एफ दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ वोल्टेज वी टू जस्ट नाउ वी डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वर्चुअल ग्राउंड सो एज पर दैट कंसेप्ट वी टू इज सेम एज वी वन मतलब ये वोल्टेज दिस वोल्टेज इज सेम एज द वोल्टेज एट दिस पॉइंट सो वी टू इज सेम एज वी वन बट वी वन इज नॉट ग्राउंडेड इन दिस केस वी वन इज कनेक्टेड टू वी एस सो वी टू इज सेम एज वी वन विच इज सेम एज वी एस therefore we can write vs is equals to v0 into r1 divided by r1 plus rf now closed loop gain is denoted by av we know the basic formula gain is output upon input so it it can be written as output that is v0 upon vs matlab ye v0 upon vs term sip rearrange karna hai so it becomes r1 plus rf upon r1 सिंपल है ये वी एस यहां पर लिया सो इट बिकम्स वी जीरो अपन वी एस और ये जो डिनोमिनेटर था आर वन प्लस आर एफ ये एल एच एस में ट्रांसफर किया आर वन आर एच एस में ट्रांसफर किया सो आर वन प्लस आर एफ अपॉन आर वन विच इज सेम एज वन प्लस आर एफ अपॉन आर वन ये इक्वेशन कैसे है पहले टर्म को आर वन से सेपरेटली डिवाइड किया आर वन अपॉन आर वन वन आ गए सेकेंड टर्म आर एफ है उसको सेपरेटली डिवाइड किया सो वन प्लस आर एफ अपॉन आर वन दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ गेन of non inverting amplifier now from this equation we can write the equation of output voltage v0 is vs in the bracket 1 plus rf upon r1 matlab ye simple kiya ye v0 by vs ka equation tha ye vs term this vs term i have transferred it at the rhs so we got equation of v0 that is vs into 1 plus rf by r1 about waveform this is non inverting amplifier so whenever you are getting input maximum at that time output is also maximum when input is minimum output is also minimum but output is amplified uh, signal so this is the case for non inverting amplifier 
नेक्स्ट इज वोल्टेज फॉलोअर जस्ट नाउ वी डिस्कस नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्प्लीफायर इन केस ऑफ वोल्टेज फॉलोअर डू रिमेम्बर दीज कंडीशन आर वन इज इन्फिनिटी एंड आर एफ इज जीरो आर वन इज इन्फिनिटी मीन्स वी नीड टू ओपन सर्किट इट सो आई विल रिमूव दिस एंड आर एफ इज इक्व टू जीरो दैट मीन्स दिस रेजिस्टन्स इज रिमूव बाय अ शॉर्ट सर्किट लाइन सो दिस इज द डायग्राम फॉर वोल्टेज फॉलोअर नाउ just now we have discussed the equation of gain the av or avf any notation will do in case of uh, non inverting amplifier this formula is 1 plus rf upon r1 but rf is zero and r1 is infinity zero upon anything is in uh, zero so this value is equals to 1 we know that output is equals to gain that is avf into input input is vs therefore we can simply write v0 is equals to vs so this circuit is called voltage follower because whatever input we have same output will be getting so waveform remains same even amplitude remains same so this is the voltage follower circuit whatever input is there same uh, input signal you will be getting at the output this is voltage follower circuit the major characteristics are input impedance is very very high output impedance is very low ideally zero and band width is very large these are the characteristics of voltage follower circuit now the most important part of this session comparison between inverting amplifier or inverting configuration and non inverting amplifier or non inverting configuration in case of inverting amplifier voltage gain is minus rf by r1 in non inverting voltage gain is 1 plus rf by r1 then in inverting configuration supply voltage or input voltage is connected to negative terminal and positive terminal is grounded in this case supply voltage or input voltage is connected to positive terminal and negative terminal is grounded in inverting configuration phase shift of 180 degree between input and output there is no phase shift for non inverting input impedance of inverting configuration is r1 whereas for non inverting configuration input impedance is very large example of inverting is voltage shunt feedback amplifier non inverting voltage series feedback amplifier as well as you need to draw the diagram of both which i had already drawn so i am not repeating it similarly you need to draw the waveform in both cases so this is about the comparison between inverting amplifier and non inverting amplifier so dear students that's it for today's session so thank you thanks a lot for watching this video